Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Art with Jesus Conde. Today we're going to be making a review of the pen tablet Artisul M0610 Pro. At first sight, the box has a good size for a medium tablet. Something I have to say is that there is a hashtag on the box, Art is Soul. It's true that it doesn't do anything for the quality of the product, but it gives you a good feeling of branding and identity. Like if you want to create something and put it just there to be part of that community. Let's see what's inside. First thing we found is a medium tablet that saves some space of the edges compared to the one I use daily. This one is about 5 to 10% smaller, which is good. But then you find this little piece of paper that says LIMITED GUARANTY in all caps. When you read it, you immediately find that it's not as bad as it sounds. It's actually pretty standard 12 month guarantee and you get two more months if you register the product. But honestly, that title is a bit alarming to be the first thing you see. Maybe hide it inside of the box at the bottom or something so it doesn't kill the joy. Then there's a little card with the web page address where you can download the driver since nobody uses CDs anymore. The tablet has a very nice style with expected buttons and wheel. That's pretty standard unless you want something without it which also exists. Then I find something that really surprised me, a small pencil case. I really liked it, I really like that, I don't wanna lie. It became more useful once I noticed that the nibs and nib remover come inside little plastic bags. Then the pen case is pretty convenient, so you can carry all the stuff inside, cables, pen, nibs, everything. We have the USB cable, then there's a couple of adapters to connect to the phone. This is not something that I'm really into doing, but I definitely have to explore it later, painting on the phone. That sounds pretty interesting. The pencil is a little more thick than I thought it would be, but that's no problem. And the shape is very original, different from the other ones that I've used. You can recognize it at first sight, which is pretty convenient. And the weight is pretty similar to other ones that I've used before. Also, there's a small handkerchief to clean it and a little glove so you don't sweat your tablet on summer or freeze your hand with the cold surface of tablet on winter. Finally, we have a tiny book with the starting guide in case you don't know how to plug it in or install it. Now let's give it a try. Visually, when you plug it in, you notice it had lights on the bottom that change color. That's very cool. Interesting for customization options. I'm not sure you can actually pick the color that you want for them, but that will be pretty cool as an added value later. The first feeling is that the surface sounds a lot when painting, like if there's a texture on it, a lot more than others that I've used. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I like the sound, it feels pretty nice, like if you're actually painting on something. The installation is very quick and easy, you just have to restart the computer and it works perfectly. Perfectly, um, I don't have to say that Photoshop felt a bit laggy sometimes, at least four times on a painting. That took me about three hours uh, to do the whole painting, but it, it got laggy about four times. And then Photoshop froze, but I'm not really too concerned about all this, it's just a matter of time till the drivers work perfectly, and these kind of problems are actually solved with some kind of update or something, so I don't, I don't think it's a big deal negative and positive aspects let's start with the negative i think that the sound that makes the tablet when i paint it means that there's some friction on it although it feels good as i mentioned before my i'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, like wasting the nibs faster than usual for me uh, a person that paints all day that concerns but i do have to say that it comes with a lot of nibs so that's a good thing i guess Another negative is that the drivers may need a little work, as I mentioned before too, unless that the problem was uh, my machine specifically or my version of Photoshop, that could be too. Uh, but I wanted to put this on the negative aspect. As positive, visually looks pretty professional, elegant, a little more compact than the medium version of other brands. I also see something positive, the possibility of painting on the phone. Even though I haven't tried it yet, I have to say, this new option 
is a new option that I didn't thought of before. Uh, maybe not for professional work, but using the phone instead of carrying a laptop everywhere is way less heavy and saves a lot more space. So if you are on a trip or something, this could be a great option. Another positive is price. It's very low cost. Right now it's about $69.99. And if you take into account the offers and things like that, it could turn out to be very competitive price for a professional quality kind of tablet. This painting was done with this tablet and even though the Photoshop got stuck a few times, it was pretty good experience overall. The people from Artisul were very kind to give me some links with coupons to save from $5 to $20 extra on the store. All that information is down below on the description. Thank you very much for your time guys and see you on the next episode.